वॉट इज़ अप गाइज कैसे हो आप लोग इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्टेड टू टॉक अबाउट द प्राइजिंग ऑफ द रॉयल एनफील्ड हिमालयन फोर फिफ्टी एवरीबडी हैज़ बीन वेटिंग फॉर दिस मोटरसाइकिल यू नो पिनिंग देयर होप्स ऑन इट टू बी देयर नेक्स्ट एडवेंचर टोरिंग मोटरसाइकिल दैट्स गो नो प्रोवाइड एवरी थिंग इन अ वेरी मैनेजेबल बजट ना वाइल द प्राइजिंग ऑफ दिस मशीन इज गो नो बी रिवील्ड ऑफिशियली at the motorverse festival that is scheduled to happen on the coming weekends friday saturday and sunday i would still want to take a dig at what we should expect as a reasonable pricing for this new himalayan while this is termed as a big surprise but if you actually look at the market right now in terms of what all other motorcycles are there uh, already in the market be it from other manufacturers or from royal enfield then i don't think this is much of a surprise i'll tell you why so let us do a very logical uh, comparison of all the motorcycles that are there in the market right now be it from royal enfield or from other manufacturers which kind of operate in the 2 to 3.5 lakh rupee ex showroom price bracket and once i do this comparison for you i think you guys will very clearly understand what you can expect as the price of the himalayan even before waiting for the official launch so let's consider these two motorcycles from royal enfield one is the previous 411 himalayan and the second is the royal enfield interceptor 650 why i specifically talk about these motorcycles because these two motorcycles will serve as the minimum and the maximum range between which the royal enfield himalayan 450 will have to be priced the 411 himalayan is priced at 2.15 lakhs ex showroom and the royal enfield interceptor 650 which is a twin cylinder motorcycle is priced at 3.02 lakhs ex showroom i'm not talking about on road prices i'm just comparing ex showroom prices because that is what matters the on road prices will obviously differ from state to state 2.15 to 3.02 this kind of sets the minimum and the maximum range between which royal enfield will have to price the himalayan 450 why i say that is because Ari can definitely not price a single cylinder motorcycle no matter how hugely anticipated this machine was but in all logical sense they cannot price this motorcycle above the interceptor 650 which is a twin cylinder motorcycle now let's get two other motorcycles into the mix as well one is the triumph scrambler 400x which is priced at 2.63 lakhs ex showroom and the adventure 390 from ktm which is priced at around 3.3 lakhs ex showroom now as i told you the maximum is cut off at 3.02 because the interceptor is priced at that and royal enfield can definitely not go beyond that figure so essentially what we have is a price range between 2.6 lakhs ex showroom to 3.02 lakhs ex showroom you see how we have narrowed down to that logical range in which the himalayan 450 will be priced at one more thing that we'll also bring into this discussion is how royal enfield usually charges for any sort of incremental upgrades on their machines for example the interceptor 650 the spoke wheel version is priced at 3.02 ex showroom while the alloy wheel version is priced 20000 rupees more so just for an upgrade in terms of the spoke wheel to alloy wheels and some fancy color changes ari decided to keep a price differential for 20000 rupees so keeping that sort of a mentality uh, and factoring that in into the pricing i feel that the bump in the himalayan price compared to the previous model which was at 2.15 lakhs is going to be at least 45 to 50000 rupees because you are getting a lot of new things in the 450 himalayan you are getting 40 bhp of power you are getting a bump in torque you are getting a bump in the seat quality improvement in the seat quality i should say you are getting all led headlamps you are getting a instrument cluster which looks much more modern with that monopod design uh, which will help you with the navigation as well while you are doing those long tours so a lot of things are coming in and i assume safely they are going to bump up that price easily by around 45 to 60000 my estimate in terms of pricing even before ari releases it 
is that it's going to be 2.75 or 2.8 lakhs. It can't go very near to the 3 lakh rupee extra room mark because that is where the Interceptor 650 sits. So this is my educated guess. Uh, we all will be knowing about the pricing in the next three to four days maximum. But my prediction on the pricing is 2.75 lakhs or max 2.8 lakhs. Now, is this price competitive? Hell yes, I feel this is very competitive because if you look at the Scrambler, which is coming in at 2.6 lakhs and if the Himalayan comes in at 2.8 odd lakhs, then for that 20,000 rupee difference over the Scrambler 400X from Triumph, you still will get a lot more capability in terms of off-road performance. You will get a lot more comfort in terms of touring on the Himalayan and you will get a motorcycle that doesn't vibes at the triple digit speeds. So the Himalayan will do 110, 120 kilometers per hour all day long, while the Scrambler 400X, while it can maintain those speeds, it will not feel at that much of an ease as the Himalayan feels doing those speeds on a long trip. A 20 sort of a thousand rupee difference over the Scrambler 400X, taking it from 2.6 to 2.8 would also be very justified. So that's my take on it. I would love to hear what you guys think in terms of uh, what should be the pricing of the new Himalayan. Let me know in the comment section below. Because as we know, India is a very, very price sensitive market. Anything, any product that is launched, the first factor that comes into play is the price. The features, the benefits, the value that you get out of the product is something that is put on the back burner, while price is something that really decides the fate of any motorcycle in our country. Open to hearing your viewpoints and anyways, we'll be you know, getting the official word from Ari in the next two or three days. So that is it for this video. Stay tuned, stay subscribed and bye-bye. <laughs>